Uh, I was trying to fix an issue for a friend who says it keeps shutting down as soon as the game starts. Pulled the connector out on the next on the next to the fan connector, so that's going to be the Nexus connector. And not sure if I was to blame for it coming apart or if it was previously done by the owner, but I'll take responsibility for it and hopefully you can sort it out so that it will now turn on. The issue with it shutting down can be up to them to sort out. Cheers, Phil. Spoke on the phone to you about it, mate. Replacement connector for it. Okay, so it is going to be fairly straightforward. It's a Nexus connector replacement. They break quite often, unfortunately. So if we try and turn this on now, it won't turn on because there's no connector for the power button. So Nexus is just the code name for the connector that Microsoft uses for them. So it should be relatively straightforward, hopefully, as long as there's no damaged traces. This video probably still would have been here without today's sponsor. But hey, it's time to show something, right? So here goes. Here at The Code of Productions, we love nothing more than to take as much money from you, the viewer, as we possibly can. Which is why we're proud to talk to you about ConsoleFix.shop. A great place for you to spend your hard-earned cash. I mean, yeah, fair enough. You get parts and supplies that help you fix things, but you've got to give me some money in return. Nothing in life's free, and if you pay me for it, you might appreciate it more. Or not, hey, I'm not judging. With that being said, we do have some pretty cool stuff on the shelves, including power supplies, HDMI ports, charging chips, MOSFETs, and whatever else you can think of that will give you the illusion that you're getting a good deal. So head on over to the online store by clicking on the link in the video description, and if there's one thing I can guarantee, is that there will be a way for me to take your money. Console fix, your friendly money grabbing YouTuber. So all I want doing on this is the Nexus connector itself. So, I mean, fair play, this is basically, you know, like, um, but obviously no offence to the customer, but this is basically going to be one of those, oh, I can fix that sort of thing, or I could try and fix that. And then, you know, he's obviously tried to do it for a mate and ended up screwing up and breaking the connector. Um, which, you know, you can't really say much when it comes to, you know, the fact that he's taking responsibility for it. Yeah, okay, so you can see it's broken there. Um, so what a lot of people do with these is they'll just try and put it out like that, and that's not how it's meant to be done. It's meant to be done by basically pressing down on the connector. There's a little catch just there. Uh, you can't really see, but I'll show you, show you up close in a minute. Uh, there's a little catch there. You meant to press on that, and that releases the pressure on the ribbon and allows it to come out. So, yeah, unfortunately, that got broke. Uh, but you can't really say much in terms of you know the customer breaking it because obviously he's not a professional and he's taking responsibility for it, and you know he's going to pay me to repair that and then just basically send it back to his mate. I think uh, so yeah it is what it is um, this is something we see quite often I do sell the Nexus connectors on the store by the way if anyone does need them brand spanking new I'll probably take one from a board because I haven't brought the Nexus connectors out of the old workshop and it's pitch black in there so I'll probably just end up taking the Nexus connector off off a donor board just to simplify things but I have got some brand new ones in the old workshop which I sell on the online store I will service this, I will clean it, and it might not shut down in games, it might solve two problems with one stone. Yeah, everyone bags a connector. You know, it is what it is at the end of the day, you know, at least the guy is taking responsibility for it. And that's what I always say, like, you, like, we all make mistakes, we all mess up from time to time. I mean, how many times I've messed up on streams and stuff. Ugh. What the hell is that? Uh, the amount of times I've messed up, like you've on stream, you know, it, it happens, right? It's not like, it's not like we don't mess up, because we do. The main thing is taking responsibility and putting it right, and that's what this guy's doing. So, I really can't say anything about that. I really can't argue with that. There we are. Yeah, so that's mangled that connector pretty bad. Um, that's fine. We we wouldn't try and repair the connector anyway. To just try and get it, re we'd just replace it. So yeah, that's uh, neither here nor there. How badly it's damaged. So the way I do these, the easiest way to do them is just to have it hanging over the edge of the desk, like that. Um, 
and then I can heat up from underneath the board with the hot air. So let me just grab a pair of tweezers. Tell you what, I'll grab a new pair from consolefix.shop. Eastern the Beast, thank you for subscribing, I really appreciate that. Thank you for the support. Alright, so my hot air is set at 440 degrees Celsius at 40% airflow. Uh, not sure what's going on there. Someone tried to glue this. I think they might have done. But obviously that's never going to work when the connector pins are broken. I'll sell both, uh, all of these connectors on the store, by the way, for the safe bridge board. That is actually burning my eyes, so yes, someone has tried to glue that. Ah! That is stinging. There's definitely glue on that board. Okay. Yeah. I felt that. That was burning my eyes. Yeah, so that's one thing you've got to be careful of with these. If people are trying to glue them um, when you're using hot air on them. Okay, so there's some fresh solder. Right, again, same scenario, it's going to be 440 degrees Celsius at 40% airflow for this. Not difficult to remove. But then I'm going to bring the board I'm working on back into play. And drop this in line. I'm not going to get it to line up fully because of the fluffy solder balls on the uh, ground pad. That's fine, that's whatever. It'll line up as the solder flows. It's just literally just do what I've just done but in reverse now. Well, there we go. That is job done. It really don't take much. I'm just going to grab some IPA. Whoops, it's not the board, never mind. Just grab a bit of IPA, give it a clean. So I've just got IPA on the toothbrush here. And it's the same with any of the connectors on these. Just heat up from underneath and you'll be fine. There we are. That looks pretty good to me. Just give everything a test. Good. That's absolutely fine. Let's bring this back into play. Uh, pop that on there. I'm going to service this while I'm here just because that should fix the um, overheating issues and stuff. 213 watching and I, and I was the 101st to upvote. <laughs> Thank you, Vladimir. Appreciate you, mate. Uh, yeah, thermal paste a bit dry. Um, I'll replace it all as standard anyway with every job. If I've got to go inside the console, 
I'll replace the thermal paste. I don't care if it's been replaced five minutes before, I always do it. Because at least then, I can warranty it knowing that it's had fresh thermal paste. Uh, of course, this does have other issues, and the customer does only just want to pay for the uh, connector replacement. So this will be like a flat £50 connector replacement fee for this. Um, so that's what I charge for a Nexus connector replacement. It's just £50 flat fee. Uh, I realised I've just thrown thermal paste at Bobby, but never mind. Uh, yeah, so I'll charge a flat fifty pound for a Nexus connector on these, and the only warranty it'll get from me is whether it turns on or off because of the Nexus connector. If that makes sense, because that's all he wants. He's not paying for anything else. He doesn't want any other repair doing. If this fixes the uh, random shutting down and stuff or shutting down during gameplay then great you know it is what it is um he basically gets a repair done for free then because yeah i replace the thermal paste with every job regardless doesn't matter what it comes in for hey steven thank you buddy appreciate you mate there we are some fresh mx4 Warranty sticker in a non visible location and moment tell truth though. Does it turn on? Of course, it does. Wild Present just subscribed on Twitch. Thank you, Wild Present. I appreciate the support. Thank you. You would have used duct tape, saw it on a YouTube video. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that turns on. Um, I am going to give it a quick test and just see if it still crashes in games when you load a game up. Uh, so it said, it said on the description on this that it crashes as soon as you load a game up. So let's have a look, shall we? Right, well, that is not crashing on a game, is it? Ah, that's probably going to be another one of these uh, SSD issues. Um, unfortunately, that is not a job what I can do because I have not been commissioned to do so. I've just been told replace that connector and call it job done. The issue with it shutting down can be up to them to sort out it. Save that on the notes. Uh, so he does not want me to attempt to fix that. All he wants me to do is replace that connector and get it back up to a state that he received it in so that's what we've done uh nexus connected replaced the console does turn on um job done you've done what's been asked yeah exactly yeah um unfortunately there's nothing more i can do with this immediately um i mean i could investigate it um obviously i've got this one off to the side of it which does the same not as quick but it does the same thing with the uh, SSD and whatnot, but um, yeah, I could investigate it, but he doesn't want me to, so yeah, I'm just quite good at that. 